What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated, the show where I talk about and showcase wristwatches. So if you love watches like I do, you're going to want to subscribe to the show. Recently, I returned from a vacation in Las Vegas and I had a chance to go into six different boutiques inside the forum shops at Caesars Palace and I wanted to talk a little bit about each one. Here we go. A couple of days ago, I got back from Las Vegas, one of my all-time favorite places to go. Craps! I've been there a few times, and every time I go, it's just as unbelievable as the last time. This time, though, while I was inside Caesars Palace, I walked through their forum shops, which is basically a huge mall inside Caesars Palace. Inside that mall, they had five boutiques and a tourneau. The first place I stopped in was Rolex. It's the first stop if you're going in there looking around for watch places. They were very above board. They had the green tie, the jackets on, clean atmosphere, quiet in there. But I gotta tell you, that place was barren. There was no watches in there. There was a lot of precious metal watches, but again, because of this Rolex steel sports shortage going on right now, there was just nothing in the case. They had some women's models in steel, but nothing steel in men's. No subs, no Explorer 1s, no Milgals, no Explorer 2s, I mean nothing. And I talked to the guy a little bit about that and he said that Rolex is trying to become more exclusive. That was kind of his answer for the stainless steel shortage going on right now. They also told me that since Nevada doesn't have any sales tax, a lot of people go to that particular boutique or other boutiques in Nevada to save on sales tax. And he said he's had anybody from the Raiders and the Las Vegas Knights come in there looking for Rolex watches. Overall, great experience in Rolex. My next stop was Jega La Coutre. Now, I walked into there and this place was tiny. I mean, probably, probably no bigger than this room. It was a very, very small boutique. Not a lot of product in there. There was a saleswoman in there. There was also a security guard right at the door, which there was not at Rolex, so that's interesting. And she was telling me how everything is in-house, everything's still handmade. And she said that there's really not a lot of brands that are still doing that. All their movements are in-house. I felt that she appreciated that I kind of came in there and you know, I talked about a uh, Reverso Grand Date and I talked about one day I wanted to get a Jega Le Coutre Moon Face because that is a watch I want to get probably years, unfortunately, down the line. Overall, Jega Le Coutre, very nice experience, cool place to go in, a lot of cool watches to check out in the boutique there. Right next door to Jega Le Coutre was Breitling. Now, I walked into Breitling and here they have inst, 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 inst. They got the fucking music going hard. Everybody does have the suits on. They're a little bit more casual in Breitling. Nobody really approached me. Just kind of like a, hey, you know, like from long range, like look how hip we are. This is a hip brand. I mean, that is definitely what they are selling in there. Nothing really stuck out to me. The Navi timer is okay. The, the heritage is okay. But a lot of the other more traditional pilot watches, they're just a little too busy. Totally different atmosphere there, different sales tactics in there. Breitling experience over, I wouldn't say it was a bad experience, but it was vastly different compared to Rolex or Jega Le Coutre. Next stop in the forum shop was Hublot. Now I walked into Hublot not having a whole lot of knowledge about Hublot. I know there's a lot of Hublot hate going on right now. And I was approached by a salesperson. He was very nice. I asked him, you tell me why Hublot gets all the hate. And he said part of the reason is, is they do use a lot of Salita movements in some of their lower end models. And we're talking models that are, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. They're using Salita movements in them. Also, he thinks some of the hate comes from them being different. They have a 18 karat gold mixed with ceramic to make a scratch resistant gold. I'll put a picture of that up. I actually put that on, tried it out. Not a bad looking piece. Not really my style though, just too busy. The dial loses focus with all that going on, but I can also see why a lot of athletes and stuff go after Hublot right now. Real flashy, they make ones where the entire case is made of sapphire glass, clear sapphire, blue sapphire, pink sapphire. Very nice looking, but a little too flashy, a little too gaudy for my personal tastes. I think the 18 karat scratch resistant gold case 
that was an in-house movement and that was at sixteen and a half thousand dollars i believe the atmosphere in hublot was similar to that of rolex or jega le Coutre, where the music was quiet everybody was quiet nobody was whispering in there but there were some other people looking around in there and it was a pretty big boutique good experience overall i'd recommend walking in there and just having a look around maybe something in there would catch your eye nothing in there that i would put on my horological wish list as of right now though Right next door to Hublot was Tag Heuer. We walked into Tag Heuer and here's the music. And it, it's just going, going. The salespeople were way in the back, just kind of said, ha ah, la la la, it was just some woman. I couldn't understand exactly what she said. I'm assuming she said, hey, how are you? And I was just like, yeah, hey, what's up? Right front and center of the boutique, was smartwatches, Tag Heuer smartwatches. I'm not familiar with them, haven't really looked into them. I'm not a smartwatch guy. Then they had more of their traditional stuff kind of on the ends of the boutique. No one ever actually came up to me up close and introduced themselves. Overall, I think the Tag Heuer experience in that boutique was a poor one. The last of my stops in the forum shops at Caesars Palace was Torno. Now inside Torno, they had a bunch of different brands. I talked to the Rolex guy for just a couple minutes and then I went over to Patek Philippe and I was talking to this girl and she showed us a couple annual calendars. She showed us a couple perpetual calendars. She was super friendly, super informative. You could tell she was passionate about wristwatches and she told a great story. I believe the great grandson of the Heinz ketchup founder came in there looking for a new strap for a certain Patek Philippe that was only, I think she said there was only 50 of them made, maybe 500, but she said they were super limited, super rare. And the last one that sold at auction sold for over 5 million. And he just had it like, hey, I need a new strap for this watch. And pretty cool story to hear that from her. And she did spend some time with us, showed us different things. Like I said, the environment in Torneau is a little more relaxed than in Rolex or Jega Le Coutre, but definitely more above board than Breitling or Tag Heuer. Overall, I think the Torneau experience was a nice one and the Patek Philippe lady definitely knew her stuff. And that pretty much wraps it up. I wanted to film something for you guys to tell you about my experience in the forum shops at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. I meant to try to film something while I was in Vegas, but I couldn't really figure out how to sneak the camera into the boutiques and I was just too busy vacationing, if I'm being 100% honest. Overall, I think the Tag Heuer boutique was the worst boutique I visited and I think the best boutique, the best experience I had was actually going into Hublot. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any stories about boutiques you'd like to share with me? I'd love to hear them. And that wraps up another episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated.